Made it into my traco, had to hike in up the driveway. Uh, there's about two and a half to three foot of snow on the ground still. Um, pretty wet and heavy because it's almost 70 degrees today. Uh, my Cabelco SR-115DZ Traco fired right up after sitting here for about five months. We're like 8,540 feet in elevation. Um, the trusty old girl, I uh, mean, this Traco go back a long ways. I don't even know how many years we've had it, but she's a good machine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the driveway. It's not the most practical machine for moving snow, but uh, with the dozer blade on it, we'll make do. That's what we have on the lot, so that's what we're going to roll with. Uh, excited to get this process started. We're a little behind where we want to be. Uh, we did get our house plans finished up with Walker Home Design. So we're just working on a layout here on the lot and getting materials and things ordered. Uh, we should be rolling before you even know it. We got the driveway opened up, at least enough to get the gladiator up here uh, so we don't have to walk up the driveway in three feet of snow. Uh, we'll go ahead and clear some of the snow off the building site here. Uh, the reason we've waited until now is we wanted to wait until the freezing temperatures were pretty much over with because the snow provides a good insulation blanket uh, so we don't have to deal with much frost. Uh, we could actually get going sooner that way than if we would have kept a plowed off all winter which would have been unnecessary this is where our home will be right in this area uh, we actually picked our lot out before we even started designing our home with walker home designs uh, the house is designed to fit this lot and to fit the elevations and the contours on this lot and the theme kind of is pretty mountainy to match the Uinta Mountains where we're building. We got the majority of the snow moved off of the building site. Uh, it's good enough for now. We got a couple more really nice warm days coming, so we'll come back up in a day or two, uh, see how everything's looking, see how the rest of the melt's going. We'll bring a tape measure and do our general layout to make sure we have the snow moved back far enough and that we have enough room to work. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to follow along with our journey.